Great fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to say the final thoughts for almighty Wiskavica. I know Pauls fellas, I practiced it, okay? It was absolutely glorious and it was amazing and I know I nailed it. It's okay fellas, I, all I am expecting is flowers, the collapse and I still keep it up. Meanwhile, this weekend we are going to have drops, pretty much it, most of the content creators are having drops, right? You can get the new commander of the Tsigan, the old commander of the new multi show, remember first team Clash Vibes 2019, Mwah! beautiful. You can get some um, 3D styles and whatnot, some 2D styles, uh, some personal reserves and, uh, and other stuff. Now. Uh, I want to go through this event real quick to see what is happening. As you can see, this event is based uh, uh, on Polish um, tech tree, which is completely understandable. This is a new tech tree, right? So what is happening? You need to play with the Polish tanks in order to uh, get yourself reward, in order to get yourself the eagles. And after that, you can spend them on whatever you want. So that is absolutely amazing. And that is absolutely awesome. Also, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind. If you want to see how the commander sounds, right? You can go to our gaming page and you can... You can you can listen for Chigan complaining about Boli, or maybe that is not complain. Maybe he slapped that hard that enemies will remember him forever and ever. A new multi. Pay attention at the sound difference between new Ciekawe, czy się ta bitewka. and between old. Well, I mean, uh, new multi is literally talking out of the tank, you know, with all echo and whatnot. Anyways, uh, that's one thing. After that, obviously, highlight if uh, you need um, some help with a tank or something, you are curious how the tank is looking like, you know, how do I rate the tank, how community is rating the tank, equipment setup, uh, um, the crews, and many, many, many other stuff. Uh, feel free to check out the index page. You will see everything over there, and hopefully you will find this useful. Now, enough of talks. Let's go into the game. And and let's see what this tank has to offer and uh, I know exactly what it has to offer and soon we are going to talk about uh, a bit of the disappointments, right? Okay, fellas, let's talk about Buiskavica or uh, overall about the higher tiers from the new Polish line. Whenever I tested them for a very first time, um, I instantly said that it is going to be extremely hard line to play with and it is very situational, right? And I think it is still the case. This tank has different alpha damage depending on the distance. So if you are in the close distance, you are able to slap enemies for 800. We are talking about 50 meters. If you are 300 meters away, you are slapping for 500. And if you are, let's say, sniping from the red line, which I do not recommend to do for a Polish tank destroyers, but you know, some situations are like this whenever you can only snipe, you are going to hit for 300 or 200, depending on the roll. That being said, it is extremely difficult to make this line work. And uh, my opinion still stays the same uh, when I played with this tank in the test server, right? It is extremely difficult and extremely, extremely hard to, to put this tank to the real world and to make this stuff work. Uh, that being said, this lane is for extremely good players, at least in my opinion. And even though um, Polish tank destroyers has armor, it doesn't change the fact that... Uh, um, this gun is just simply for made for extremely good players so they will know how how to play the game and how to get maximum use of all of this hi there better luck with the next show i slapped 907 from 70 meters distance to the ass and i did not penetrate at him what a what a armor of the 907 huh it's okay skill aim better 
I agree, fellas. No complaints, no regrets. We are just simply to, um, going to aim better. And we are going to make this stuff work. We are big boys. We have seen some disappointments. We are going to be completely alright. And we are going to be fine. By the way, this 907 is sitting in such a deep Kaku hole that uh, it is going to be extremely hard for him to be successful over there, with all honesty. Although he is pretty successful, fellas. He blind shooted me and I bounced his cupola. Speaking of the Polish uh, tank destroyers and speaking of the disappointment, huh? It's okay. We are big boys, we are going to survive and we are going to be fine. You know what? Gold on. I am, I am going to simply load the gold, we will get some extra penetration and hopefully we are going to have tiny touch better time over there. Yeah, um, from the old games I played with this tank, I played on my test account, I played uh, on the test server, I played, uh, um, I just free experienced it on my main account. All I can say is, for me this vehicle line is disappointment. Uh, it's sad, honestly, and I don't really think that I am only one who said that this line is uh, is smelling like a pile of kaku, you know? I think many people expected significantly better lane, considering that um, you should be agile, you should be uh, armored, you should be able to do many, many things, and in the end of the day, it feels like a pile of kaku, if you know what I mean. But once again, it is how it is, we are going to try to make it work. The first game is very, very hard. I mean, it is insanely hard. Our team got farmed over there, which is disgusting. Uh, everything went into the shithole here, honestly. But it's okay. Not much what we can change about that. We are not going to give up and we will try to play till the last moment. Now, M8, how are you doing? We are aiming for the lower plate. We are slapping him beautiful in the face. 500, that's okay. And we are getting plenty of the assisting damage as well, which is very, very welcome. Now, this 907, it feels like he knows what he is doing. This guy, he knows what he is doing, and he's blind shooting me pretty well, or maybe that's not a blind shot, maybe I'm still spotted. Either way, not bad, kudos for the 907, definitely not, um, not a bad performance from this guy's side, which is completely fine. Now, what is happening in my mind? I am thinking about going for this Udis with high explosives. Eliminating him from the game and after that uh, uh, putting my focus towards the middle over there. Uh, once again, very, very, very hard. Game, very difficult game. And the 907 is playing extremely well. I really, really, really want to give uh, kudos for this gentleman, right? Meanwhile, Udes understands that the death is coming. And he understands that he is going into the garage. Now, what position to take... To get maximum use over there. And Artas are instantly skill. Nine the face. Nine the face. Ooh. This is a difficult one. Also, I have a feeling this 907 will uh, start flanking eventually. Or maybe I am just wrong. Also could be a possibility. Esther Y cannot overmatch him. So I need to hit his cupola. Also, extremely weird thing with this tank. Which is super important uh, to highlight. There is no such a thing as overmatch with this vehicle. I know it sounds weird because the tanks which has uh, big boy, uh, big boy PP, they they can penetrate enemies just because of the caliber of the gun, right? With this vehicle, it's not the same. It is 85 millimeter caliber gun, if I'm not mistaken. That being said, it is it is dreadful. So, whenever you are seeing the tanks like Esterva, right, it is extremely, extremely, extremely hard to penetrate those. It truly is, fellas. It is very, very hard to penetrate those. Also, remember what did I said that... Hmm, never mind. I was about to say, remember what did I said about uh, 907 flanking? That's what I was about to say. No, 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 no. Hmm, big distance. Do I want to go into the mid to play against the 60 TP? Probably that would be a smart thing. There is one more guy who can be anywhere. I don't think we can park here. 
There is one more guy who never been spotted and that is Asterva. What I am thinking, fellas, and what is happening in my baboon head, I want to believe that the enemy Asterva is going to find the balls to move, okay? Do I want to take the middle? Maybe middle is the right choice. You know what? I'm going to the middle. I'm afraid if I would get flanked, but in this... No, I'm not going to the middle. Sorry, fellas. I need to, I need to make a good decision here because this game is already super hyper turbo difficult and in the same time i cannot go into the middle because i'm telling you this 907 will try to flank us like this eventually or he will go on top of the hill one out of two both of the situations could happen and both of the situations would be pretty dreadful for us so what we are doing, we are just simply sitting in this bush and we are just simply waiting until either Grille uh, would make pressure, either Starva would make pressure or someone else, right? If I am getting flanked like this, that would be bad. But you know what also would be very, very bad? If they are taking, um, if they are taking the hill. Wow, what a game this is. I'm going to the middle. I changed my mind again. Don't mind me if I do, okay? It's a it's a hard Friday. You know exactly what this 907 is doing. This 907 is sitting right there. Skill, how do you know? Well, call it beginner luck. I am not reading this 907. He is already up front. Wow. This is this is quite a journey. I am not reading this 907. This guy is surprising me in the most positive way possible, right? And this is not a bad thing, you know? Being surprised in the World of Tanks after 200,000 games, fellas, ooh, that is good. That is very, very good. Now, this is the moment whenever we are going to eliminate 60 TP. And now we are going to say... For that 907 that uh, enough of surprises we are going to stick something fellas you know that you know that we are going to stick something indeed that's what i want to do okay this gentleman is dead excellent so now we can simply load high explosive ammunition and we can figure out where enemy astarva is with artas right that's all we need to do I don't really want to push through the middle of the field. I think this is a bit too risky and too dangerous. I've seen. Oh, Arta, Arta is shooting this position over there. You know why? Arta just said we are a Starvais. A Starvais sitting over there. How, skill, how do you know? Listen, Arta got frustrated to the level that uh, Esterva doesn't move, so he said, you know what, you mother trucker, we are not going to win this game, but I will make sure that your life is going to be disgusting, okay? This is how it went. Arta got uh, frustrated, but that's okay. All good. Mm, let's go here. I think this is a direct hit, to be completely honest with you. I'm going with a high explosive shot now. And I would not act surprised if this mother trucker would be AFK. We can push in front, I guess. Just use this to drop down. Whee! Good. And now we are getting closer. Uh, did you notice that uh, damage-wise this game is pretty disgusting? Did you notice that, fellas? Yeah, I know. I am very, very well aware of that. I know. But I do not really think we can do something over there. We just simply need to take one for the team and we need to accept it. And by the way, I have those sweet high explosives. Skill, what do those high explosives will do for him? Well, slap him once, twice, three times, that's okay. Now I need to react properly to aim for his cupola. That's all I need to do. Come on, cupola or side? 
Manticore is unspotting him. If Manticore is unspotting him, I have one more time for a, um, for a high explosives. Good. It's okay. Manticore will spot him. And he is still not going. I'm going for another one. It is absolutely madness, fellas. I wonder how much damage I'll be going to do. He is right there. Zero! <laughs> Zero! Zero, fellas! Zero! With all those blind shots. I can see we are hitting him. Zero. And zero. And zero. Holy bananas, fellas. That was so, so, so weird. As you can see, this game was painful. It wasn't easy. It wasn't simple. And to be completely honest with you, most of the games with this tank is going to be this way, right? It's rare that we have Ensk or Himmelsdorf uh, where the distance is, uh, is relatively close so we can slap, right? Very 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 hard game and very hard line overall to play with 1.8 thousand damage 2.7 thousand assisting damage a bit of the disappointment and honestly i'm not feeling well with this but it is how it is this 907 i was curious i did not manage to guess a single move what this guy is going to uh to do right but I can see he knows who I am. You, Mr. Magnificent 907. Pleasure to meet you. Okay, let's go. Round number two. Okay, guys. So, Murovanka standard battle. Um, let's start from the start. It, is, it isn't the game that we would be able to snipe from the back. Okay. It's not a battle where we can play super aggressively, at least in my opinion. So we need to slow down and we need to somehow snipe from the back over there. Uh, it's going to be a bit painful, but I definitely do not want to push through the heavy line and I re really do not want to push through the field. That being said, this is going to be a very, very, very weird battle, fellas. But you know what? We are big boys. We are going to be okay. We are going to survive. And all we need for a full happiness is to um, frame our shots properly whenever someone is crossing through the middle of the field. We just hit 260 for 400 damage, which is all completely okay. And you know, free damage is free damage. Uh, one thing what I can say mentally whenever I play with a Polish tank destroyers, right? I am trying not to look at um, at how much damage am I going to do with a shot. Does it make sense, fellas? I am just trying not to look at it. Yes, I understand that playing aggressively you will be doing like twice more damage and whatnot. I understand. But not in every game you can be aggressive to the maximum and not in every game you can um, make a hardcore pressure. Sometimes you need to take the thing slowly and sometimes you just need to uh, play via a bit of the distance. And this is what we are doing. We are okay. We are going to survive. And this is going to be completely nice, fellas. Well, the score in the end of the game may show a different things, but, you know, I'm feeling fine. How do I play with it? This is what I am saying. And by the way, fellas, if you did not notice that, there is a number over there which shows approximately how much damage you are going to make. So, Skill, I have a question. Does the RNG still count on this number? Absolutely, yes. If it is showing, let's say, 400, that means you can roll 300 or you can roll 500, depending on the RNG, right? So, RNG still counts, um, and I think this is important thing to highlight as well, right? Okay. No pressure from my side. I just do not feel like it is the right thing, uh, the right way to play this game. I'm just simply waiting until enemies will mess up. I have no doubts whatsoever that it is a matter of the time whenever this 260 will make a mistake. Holy bananas, I hate this line. Ooh. Uh, don't say anything, fellas. Don't say anything. I am trying to be patient, okay? I'm trying to be patient. And, in fact, I really love the lower tier um, Polish tank destroyers. Even the tier 5 is okay. The tier 6 is okay. Uh, actually, better than okay. The tier 7 is very, very fine, right? 
but tier 8, tier 9, tier 10, I just, I just can't stand them. Just because how, uh, how unreliable those tanks are where the damage goes, right? This is the main reason why I am so annoyed while playing with them. And I believe I am not alone. It's not a beginner friendly line, fellas. I can guarantee you that. Even though you have a bit of the armor, not a bit of the armor, you have plenty of the armor. Mine, 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 mine. Eh. Thank you. Leopard reacted faster than I did, so I did not saw that uh, beautiful 700 or 800 damage. It's okay, we are accepting this, we are going to be fine. Meanwhile, we have a gentleman who is saying, No skill, I'm ready to fight. And I'm saying, bring it on, mother trucker. Boo! That's it, afraid? Good. That means he respects us, fellas. It is okay. So, what do we want to do now? Now we want to see maybe we have a decent angle to... 430U or uh, Biscavitsa. Skill, that wasn't a good thing. Biscavitsa, no? Happy now? Good. Very, very nice. Okay. I hate this line with a passion, fellas. I really hate this line with a passion. Okay. 3, 2, 1, and he is safe. It's okay. I am I am going to be fine. I am going to survive, fellas. I am going to survive. I'm a big boy. I am a big boy. Nine Honda! No? Afraid? Good. Beautiful, fellas. All I needed to see for a full happiness was this nine Honda in the face. Come, 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 come. Come! Don't be afraid. By the way, I'm paranoid that enemies will uh, will farm me from the side, so I do not really want to get involved to the level that uh, this is only one thing what I want to do. Beautiful aim, beautiful shot. He is thinking about my lower plate. I'm trying to make a bit different angle. I'm sticking my gun to his gun. He's considering his life choices and he's going straight into the garage. Good. Very, very, very good. Now all we need to do, we need to go for remaining forces. Yeah, unreliable, fellas, unreliable. And, you know, in the future, we may change uh, how they are rated. For now, I went, uh, for now, I went like this, that uh, tier 8, tier 9, tier 10, all of them are rated as average vehicles, right? Because they are so finicky to play with. But in the future, um, I may rate them lower if I see that uh, neither I can make them work, neither others can make them work and they are just simply as stinkers. Or maybe I am a bad dancer um, whose balls are disturbing him, right? Also could be very possible. Let's see the score. Okay, fellas, we are back. 3.2 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage. Once again, very, very, very um, hard gameplay for me, truly. This tank is just something else else uh and in the end of the day we are fourth by experience we are second by the damage and we got ourselves seven thousand profits as well i'm holding it fellas i am holding it i am a patient mother trucker i will survive so you will survive too let's go one more okay fellas last but not least life oak standard battle can you see that I'm fighting with myself whenever I'm playing with this vehicle? Yeah. Hey, by the way, just to highlight you that today, um, stream goal is going to be to uh, complete the daily missions on the main account with, uh, obviously, a uh, Polish line and whatnot. And after that, we are continuing our journey uh, to mark E5 without goal. Tier 10 American tank destroyer, standard uh, heavy tank, sorry, not a tank destroyer. Standard ammunition, um, obviously standard equipment, no directives and so on. So this is going to be an interesting day. Okay, so uh, what is the plan? Do I want to be aggressive? I do not want to be aggressive. I don't feel like we have enough forces. Look, logically thinking there is two tanks going without me, right? I just do not feel like this is a good decision to go into the side. I just don't feel like it. And yes, I can slap Pat on the tank, I can slap the Centurion, but you never know how many guys enemies are having in the back. And look at this. Look how many of them do they have in the back. This is this is pretty crazy, no? 
Ooh, I'm already relocating. I am already running away for my life. Skill, why would you do that? The thing is, what you are seeing here, it's not even all. There is just simply counting the guns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I believe uh, there is uh, there is Skoda somewhere over there as well. So it's just not a great idea for us to stay in this position. It is just simply not a good idea. Uh, yes, in a way, our guys will be sacrificed like a, like a meatballs of this game. But there is nothing what we can change about that. It's okay. We got this. Meanwhile, um, long range shot, do I want to go for it? Do I have any other choice? I do not really think I do. Long range shot would be better than nothing, I guess. It's okay, I'm waiting for a lower plate. I'm waiting for a lower plate. Now. Good. 350. So disgusting. So disgusting. Skill, you are complaining like mother trucker. Fellas, I had such a big hopes for the Polish line. I swear to Banana Lord, okay? I thought they are going to offer so many good things. Every and each of us are going to yell Polska Grom, okay? Literally, every and each of us are going to be crazy um, about this line. And in the end of the day, um, it doesn't it doesn't look great, you know? All I feel like whenever I am playing with this line, I am feeling like I'm holding uh, Yaya in my hand and I cannot do absolutely anything. That was an Easter egg, literally, fellas. <laughs> that was an Easter egg. <laughs> Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to take this position and we are going to hope that um, enemies will make a bit of pressure, right? Oh, yeah, 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 What a line this is. What a bloody line. And obviously, if it happened to be that you played with this tier 10, right? Rate it in the index page, fellas. If you have 50 games, don't be don't be lazy, mother truckers. It doesn't take too much time to do. Log in via our gaming API, 50 games, and just simply um, rate the vehicle. So you can share your opinions. What do you think about this lane, right? And it is going to be significantly uh, easier to see for everyone how most of the people are looking into all of this, right? Hi, good, very, very good. We are just trying to slap the living crap out of this gentleman. This is exactly what we need. This is exactly what we are looking for. And we are just defending this side from the close distance. I must admit, I am not even considering um, to go back somewhere. I think this is the lane where I'm going to play and this is the lane where I'm going to die as well. Uh, skill, I have a question. Look, you are whining and whining. You are whining and whining. How would you fix the Polish line? I would make the damage go lower significantly um, slower that basically means bigger distance um the damage is minimum 450 to 500 let's say like that right so in the same time you can you have a choice whenever uh, um you are getting the games wherever you cannot be aggressive right but because now 300 alpha damage is just simply a stinker you know it just truly is uh, so minimum damage on the paper probably would be 450 to 500 over the bigger distance. Uh, and I think in this type of situation, it would be okay. Uh, would it be broken? Well, that's the other question, right? That is the other question. Hmm. How we can do this? Do I want to make pressure? Skill, it's 3 to 8. Fellas... Guy just has a dream, okay? I have a dream to make pressure. By the way, is it me or those three games we are super long this time? Holy bananas. Because it feels like, fellas, the game is going uh, very, very, very good way today. And don't get me wrong. The longer battles are absolutely amazing and they are awesome. But, you know, I'm just getting thirsty, fellas. Cheers. Beautiful. I feel 10 times better. Thank you. 
Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do? This is the question. Oh, now we know what to do. Nine the face. Seven Honda. Beautiful. Very, very good. Now our Grilla should be able to eliminate him from the game. Excellent. Maybe this battle has potential? What do you think about that? Maybe this battle has potential. That would be absolutely amazing. There is only two guys uh, in this side at the moment. Maybe I want to repush this lane. You know what? I'm going to be brave mother tracker and I'm going to secure uh, um, secure this position over there. Maybe not the best idea, but this is what I feel and this is what do I want to see. Let's do that. Seven minutes on the timer left. We are okay. Oh, I'm going to load high explosives for the Mr. STB. We are very, very well aware of that, that this gentleman is down to fartable, right? So all we need to do, we need to hit our shot and we are going to be completely fine. Where you are looking at, my man? Centurion is down to one shotable, is okay. It is completely fine as well. Good, 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 good. Can I reload faster than he can hide? Yes, I can. Beautiful. And now we can build a bit different angles over there. That's what I want to see. Oh, what do you think? Char footer. Will I hit him for 250 or not? Oh, 93 hit points. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, do I want to go directly through the middle? This could be very, very dangerous and probably, probably not the greatest idea. But maybe I can take this position. How about that? And there is a chance that Mr. Leo is still sitting in the same position here. So what we are doing, we are marking this position. And we will try to go for a blind shot. Oh, Mr. Kapaza, how are you doing this fine day? Mr. Kapaza is dead. Excellent. How about this Leo? Hmm. Mr. Estarva. Estarva is sitting... Uh, such a hard to catch the angle, but I think he's sitting right there. That's what I think. If this Leo is smart, he is already going for us like this. If this gentleman is smart, he is going for us this way, fellas. Kill, you have high explosive loaded. Fine, thank you. What a hard game, fellas. I just simply do not know how to make pressure here. I just don't. And you know, in the same time, one more thing to highlight. Polish tank destroyer seems like they have a lot of armor on the paper, right? But everyone is shredding them like there is no tomorrow. I do not know. Is it just me? whiner and complainer for no reason or is it the case you let me know you let me know fellas who spotted me a uh, chair footer in the middle okay i will try to guess where he is I will try to guess where he is. Am I getting spotted here? No, so maybe Leo? So maybe actually Leo spotted me from that position. Yeah, I'm just going for it. We'll see. Risk it for the biscuit situation, if you know what I mean. Four minutes on the timer. If I will make pressure, I am definitely going to die. If I will push like this, I'm dead meat. If I will push like this, I'm dead meat. If I won't push, uh, this is going to be probably draw. Ah, how about this bush over there? What do you think about that? There is a bush right there, right? Actually, a bit more to the right side. Like, right there. Hmm. 
I am just doing some testing, fellas. I am just doing some testing. We have all time in the world of tanks anyway, so all I need to do, I need to try to catch those mother truckers playing over there. Char Futur is sitting in this position. Good. Now we know and now we are very, very well aware of where this gentleman is. So that basically means we can load high explosives and Char Futur should be dead now. Okay, one more. I have a feeling he's sitting behind the... Behind the building. Maybe a bit more in the bush, but he definitely should be sitting here, okay? I can see this object making pressure, so I'm going to simply hold for it. Two minutes left. Soon we are going to go full troll low mode. Very, very, very weird games, fellas. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Long battles are absolutely amazing. And also, just to say one more thing. Usually... Usually, fellas, whenever I have some kind of appointment or something, and the time is uh, in the, uh, the... And when the time is super sensitive, it looks like we are having an extremely long game, and we are, uh, uh, and we are taking forever and ever. It looks like my dad is just trying to rig this stuff for us. What can I say? Okay, let's push in front. I do not have any other option. Both of the teams are very passive. But, you know, you cannot blame our team, you know. Conway, fartable, Grilla, fartable, Buiskavitska, fartable. Uh, the object has full hit points, but in the same time, you know, it is extremely difficult uh, way for him to approach the enemy team, if you know what I mean. It is just hard. Meanwhile, Leo... And soon we are going to have this gentleman fartable as well. I cannot do anything here. I just simply cannot do anything. I'm taking this bush over for myself. So I will have tiny touch better angle for this Leo. But to break the enemy defense, this is, this is nuts, fellas. This is nuts. Convoy died. Okay, okay, okay. One minute left. Esterva sniping from here, aiming towards Esterva, taking my time. I can do 430 damage. Beautiful, very, very nice. 50 seconds to go. Object, you sexy, magnificent mother trucker. Keep up the pressure, my man. Keep up the pressure. You got this. Just aiming towards the side. And can we eliminate him? We can. Uh, 37 seconds. I have enough DPM to deal with this guy, but... Once again, everything is very, very well dependent. He is going to react properly or not. 27 seconds on the timer. Egg tuna, fellas. We are pushing in front like crazy mother trackers. We are trying to get a decent enough angle. We got the angle. I am going to stop here for a moment just to aim my shot. Ay, 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 ay. It's okay. Grilla just missed the shot. That's it. It's a draw. There is no bloody chance. It's okay, just having the side angle, 700 in the face, and that's it. We needed 10 seconds more. Maybe I did not need it to stop, maybe I just needed to make a hardcore pressure. Either way, very hard game, fellas. Very hard game. By the way, we have 4.6 thousand visible. Do we have any blind shots? Do we have any blind shots? Soon we are going to figure this out, right? Let's see. Because we went for a plenty of the blind shots left, right, and center, but probably none of them hit. At least, uh, at least that's what I think. And yeah, 4.7 thousand. None of the blind shots hit. 1,000 assisting damage. 4.7 thousand damage. We are first by experience. We are second by the damage. Grilev would feel so much better in this situation and this position, to be completely honest with you, because you know you are going to do all the time the 750 uh, damage, right? And we lost 5,000 credits. So all in all, the session starts with this vehicle, fellas. 3.2 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. Not horrible, um, but not super duper hyper turbo good. But hey, it is how it is. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you had a great time together with us and see you very, very soon. Skills out for today. Peace.